Hi, and welcome to your Midweek Minute. It's your Pastor Daryl here from Washington Church of the Nazarene on the corner of South Meridian and National Highway at that blinking red light. Not sure how much longer I can say that because that blinking red light, they're going to replace it with a red, yellow, and green light. We're getting a full stop. Hello. Watch out. Here we come. 1999. Um, but until then, it's going to be a little bit of a hot mess out there. Um, we, we are still open, though. We are open, and we are loving it. Um, I'm back at it. We missed it last week because I was out on the mountains. Um, I had every intention of putting out a midweek minute, but uh, to be honest with you, got lazy. Anybody else get lazy during vacation? No? Am I the only one? That's all right. Um, but we are diving deep into Jonah. So if you missed it, catch our last uh, sermon on Jonah 1, 1 through 3 on our YouTube channel. Um, but one of the things I did not mentioned in that or did not stress about, I might have mentioned it, but very lightly, um, in that first three v verses was where Jonah was being sent. Now he was running to Tarshish in the opposite direction of Nineveh. See, Nineveh was a town that did not know God, did not believe in God, and they, boy, the sin was 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 so loud that it got to, to God's ear. And God said, I need you to go out there and, and let them know what they're doing. Let them know how much they're living in sin and, and to cry out against it. And tell them to repent of their ways. And I don't want to bring that up to you just to, to bring up the judgmental side of things. A lot of people think, oh, he's just going to be judgmental about how my lifestyle is or what my life choices is. If you're thinking that way, give me five seconds. I want you to think of the point that God loved those people in Nineveh. Yes, people in Nineveh that were not part of God's chosen people. They were Gentiles like you and me. They were not part of the, the church crowd. They were not part of the what you normally see at church. They were not part of the, the holy people. See, God cared about those people enough to send this reluctant Jonah, this reluctant prophet to go cry out and, and bring the word and the gospel to them. See, God cares about the drug addict. God cares about the homeless. God cares about the alcoholic. God cares about the single parent living outside of wedlock with, with, with their mate. See, God cares about those who are living in sin enough to say, hey, I want you to take the message of my gospel to them. So I want you to know that the God of, the God of creation, the God that I worship, the God that I serve, loves you. If you're an addict, come to church because God loves you. If you're living outside of wedlock with your mate, come to church because God loves you. If you're a sinner, God loves you. See, God can transform people, but he wants you to hear the message of love. He wants you to hear the message of, his, of what he wants for you. So come to church because God loves you. If you don't have a church home, consider calling us your home. We meet here every single week at 1030 on Sunday mornings and online Facebook Live. Um, we, if you don't have a church home, I'm looking forward to another great week. Until next week, know that I'm loving you. I'm praying for you. Have a great rest of your week.